remember after 9-11 what happened. President Bush immediately gave the order for the military to shoot down commercial aircraft if necessary within U.S. territory. We had we had U.S. military stationed at airports, we had military stationed at subways, train stations, again, to use force to protect America. Uh, you, know, you know, so we had air caps, uh, we had military jets flying over Washington, New York State, again, within territory of the United States to protect America. So under extraordinary circumstances, I believe that the President, in response to immediate threat, and in the, in the case of self-defense, I, I think the president has a great deal of authority to act to protect this nation because no other, no other branch of government can do that. Now, I'm talking about extraordinary circumstances. Now, when you, when you involve the possible killing of an American citizen, I think the courts are going to look at that with much greater scrutiny. And so uh, it, would, it would really require, I think, in my judgment, a great deal, an extraordinary circumstance that would allow the president to take action against an American citizen. But the other thing you have to understand is, in most cases, when you're responding so quickly, you're not going to know whether or not this person is an American citizen, this threat is an American citizen. You're going to deal with the threat as you, as you confront it. So that's how it is. Did you, so in other words, you think that the uh, Attorney General uh, Holder got the, got the opinion right in your view? Uh, well, again, when, when you, in these hearings, questions get, an, get asked. There, there's a bunch of fin, fin, uh, finesse that's involved. Again, as a general matter, uh, you know, American citizens have certain fundamental rights that have to be respected. But if, again, if you're posing an immediate threat, think of in the law enforcement context, you know, if you're posing an immediate threat and, and, and you have to respond in self-defense, you can take out an American citizen in the law enforcement context. And so there should be, should be no difference with respect to the military in terms of protecting this country when you're confronting an immediate threat in the act of self-defense.